What's going on, YouTube? My name is Skilled87, and today's video I want to talk to you guys about upcoming Uncharted 4, the Uncharted 4 beta, and the, holy shit, who didn't see this coming, the remake of Uncharted 1, 2, and 3. So, let's talk about the remake real quick. Uncharted 1, 2, and 3 are being brought to the PS4, who didn't see that coming, getting their little HD remake, uh, getting a little HD you know, makeover, obviously six frames per second, 1080p, that's going to be great. You know, it was pretty excited to hear that. I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I, I'm i only looking forward, you know, I was looking forward to the announcement in general. We all knew it was going to happen. And then something like just shot it down, killed all my hype, the announcement that there will be no multiplayer to these games. So this is a little upsetting to me. And a lot of people are going to say that there are more on try single player players out there. And I'm not going to sit here and argue, go back and forth, but I'm not going to be the Sony fanboy that stands by the decision that there's no multiplayer in two Uncharted games that were truly, truly known and pushed and bragged about for its multiplayer. I understand Uncharted 1, 2, and 3 had a major single player. I have the Platinum in Uncharted 3. I don't know why I don't have the Platinum in Uncharted 2. And I played the shit out of Uncharted 1, but I played the almighty fuck out of the Uncharted 2 and 3 online. So... I don't get it. Why does the Halo collection get, not only does the Halo collection get multiplayer, it gets a multiplayer that takes the best of Halo 1, 2, and 3 and the other Halo games and pushes it in one game. It makes like one kind of crazy multiplayer experience that takes the best from all the previous Halo games in one. That to me is ridiculous as fuck. That's awesome. When I read about the Halo collection, whatever it's called, and I, and, I, and I read out how the game actually functions online. I said, wow, they really put a lot of thought into that shit. So flash forward like a year you know, a year later, we get the Uncharted 1, 2, and 3 collection. There's no multiplayer involved. I feel like that's a very stupid move by Sony. Instead, what you get is the beta code for Uncharted 4. That to me is a little silly. Like I, I feel that that to me is not enough to justify the removal of the Uncharted 2 and 3. And then I don't want to hear the whole, well, it, it takes away from the team working on Uncharted 4. Okay, I understand that. Why could you just get, I don't know, a rookie team to take Uncharted 1, 2, and 3, HD them out, which shouldn't be too hard for a team that's not Naughty Dog, and take the existing Uncharted 2 and 3 and port it over to PS4. Maybe, 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 my, maybe my standards are too high. Maybe I expect too much, but I feel that this release, Uncharted 1, 2, and 3, and HD for the PS4 with no multiplayer is fucking stupid. Another thing I want to talk about, and I just read this online, and this is quite tragic to hear because, you know, we've all been Uncharted fans for years, and Nathan Drake, we can all agree, is possibly the biggest, the biggest mascot for Sony right now. When you think PlayStation, when people brag about PlayStation, when people talk about that exclusive that you've got to play on PlayStation, they talk about Uncharted, okay? It is the modern, modern day Indiana Jones Uncharted 1, 2, and 3, each game got better than the last. And now we, now we got Nathan Drake's last adventure. He's going to go out with a bang. We know it's his last game, but the announcement was made recently by one of the directors of Uncharted that this will be the last time you see Nathan, Dr Nathan Drake at E3. I fucking choked up when I read that. I was actually quite upset that this is the last time we're going to see and hear about Nathan, Nathan Drake at, you know, at E3. So what's going to happen with, I, I understand that all good things come to an end, but Halo's lasted all this time and no one, no one sees Halo dying anytime soon. So why is Uncharted at the end like this? <laughs> no! So now we need another mascot. And, you know, I, I don't know what's going on. Like I highly doubt they're going to, I highly doubt they're going to make a Bloodborne soon. Because you got the whole rumored Dark Souls 3. Maybe the same people who created Dark Souls 1 and 2. The same people who created Bloodborne. And the same thing with Demon Souls. Everyone thought there was going to be a Demon Souls 2. There was never a Demon Souls 2. They went from Demon Souls to Dark Souls. And went multiplied ever since. Then they made a little comeback with Bloodborne. And now they're going back to Dark Souls. So I don't see a Bloodborne 2 happening anytime soon. So now we're in need of a new mascot. And yes, there's a lot of contenders out there. But nothing, nothing represented so many harder than the Uncharted franchise. So tell me what you guys think about this. Tell me what you think about the Uncharted Collection not featuring the multiplayer. Tell me what you guys think about including the beta code with the Uncharted Collection. Tell me what you guys think about the fact that this is the last time we're going to see Nathan Drake in E3. Oh my God. Really. 
fucking upset about that. So thank you for watching my video. Catch you guys next video. Dude, still playing the Witcher 3, by the way. Shit is fucking bananas.